Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Smith, the Smith of the Black Show, here at, at, at Cigarette Talker, and it's Tuesday, the Strat Attack Show. Let's hop into the Urban Assault Vehicle and see what's going on. So, we're starting off a new month, and uh, from the looks of some of the NASDAQ names, you'd think that we're getting hit a lot harder than we are, and that's why we come back the way we do, because there is still strength in this market, uh, internals, as I'll get to in a second. But the SPY, you can see this. It's just been miserable, all right? And then you finally try and get a little range expansion. We come right back up. And so, uh, you know, not too much going on with the SPY. What you do have is you took out last week's lows. Woo-hoo. Uh, but that's about it. Because if you go to the internals, it's not biased to the downside that much at all. Uh, if anything, it's the Qs. Because if you go to SPY in the monthly, we open as an inside month. Nowhere near taking that this out. Now, the Qs, as we know... Uh, a little, get hit a little bit harder. Still an inside month, right? But you got that week here, that two down, two up, and then bam, hit it right back down. So that's nice. If, if we're going to get anything out of these things, it should be the cues. But uh, a lot of that stuff rallied back, but we'll get to that in a second. Small cappers here, still handily inside month, and nowhere near taking that out. So we're going to we're going to want to know about either side of that one right there. And diamonds here, you can see. For the week, it's doing nothing, right? Just stuck in here like three weeks inside of here. So hardly falling apart. If anything, uh, we were watching SMH, and we had some nice follow-through today, and then it petered out and hammered back up for that 2-2 two -two month, right? That 2-up, two 2-down two month, and we knew that this could be in trouble. But just like the Qs did this, here when we got this break, few months back when we got this break and it came right back up and people are like Rob how come it didn't get keep getting crushed I'm like because you didn't have anything else doing that right so when you get the big moves is when you have all of the monthlies lining up and all breaking in one direction and we certainly do not have that so we'll start off with a little strength um, XLV here still inside month and still an inside week but it's green on there and if you look into there you can see stuff like Humana uh, starting off the week here nicely, and remember we've been watching these monthlies ever since here. The outside month, the down, the two back up, right? So it took a few more months, but it became an outside bar of that. Now shooting for this thing here, 474.70, right? Because you've got like UNH did that here, that two back up through and still going into the highs, ANTM. Here, it's still going, so we'll see in the weekly. Here's how you get in on that the two up by taking out the previous high. Take out the previous low, and boom, these become an outside bar of all that. We've got Johnson & Johnson in there, and Johnson & Johnson presently is an inside week to the upside, and trying to get through a bunch of all this stuff up into here, these guys, and see if you can get through up there and see how that goes, but you got that inside week there. Um, also, the tech coming down, notable would be Oracle, uh, not phased as Oracle goes inside week to the upside. And the good thing is when you have this outside week, then inside week, you're dealing with the broadening formation. So too weak, too strong to take out that low, right? So we want to reverse this red three here and take this into the highs over 73.85. Uh, if we could also notice Halliburton, and Halliburton is an inside week to the upside, right? So still on the month. Still hasn't taken that out, and we know we're looking for a lot of energies to see if they can do that, like OIH. Can you take out last month's highs and go two up, two down, and have your reversal? Not quite yet. Tells you to look at slob right here, and that monthly over 28.34. You're there right now, so there's a two-two reversal in slob. Also in MPC, here, inside month of the upside very slightly. But that tells you to look down the line, Valero. How's that doing? Good. PSX. There you go. A little bit lesser. HFC. And all these things to see if those other ones that haven't triggered um, will will take those two ups on the month to join the rest of them because that should give you some more strength. Um, if we go to Home Depot. In Home Depot, inside week to the upside. And we're also seeing that in Lennar. So that tells us to look at the home builders ITB, and ITB still going into the highs, as you can see. So a lot of these things that uh, you know not having tr the trouble that the tech area did have, um, at least to start off this week and month. 
Uh, if we go to also steel and letter X, take in the inside month, right? And you can see that inside month here above 2644. You're there now, and you can take a look at STLD. You can take a look at Nucor. See how they all try and uh, work together. CENX here, still inside month, but aluminum. Working the inside week to go after that month combo. We'll see what comes of that. We also have Zion Bank Corp. Here going slight inside week and up, and that tells us to look at stuff like PNC, PNC Bank, SIVB here, and then the KRE itself with regional banks. We go to the week, and so we go to the month. Trying to get this inside month here above 7006. You're almost there. And if you watch the macro video, KRE and a bunch of these regional banks are rev strat weeks, years to the upside. So this is hopefully another continuation of that. We're going to see if third time is the charm for Macy's. As our, we're Macy's trying to get out of this stuff and trying to go inside month to the upside. We're going to watch that with retail. But on the downside, we got a lot of tech and stuff over there. you got Roku here. And that's slightly inside month to the downside, so we want to be aware of that below 322.58. The SMH itself is 2.2 reversal below 241.45, so that's going to continue to be an important level. you got LRCX. Here, RevStrat, month below 608.20, and that's also inside weakened down. Uh, you can watch a whole bunch of those semis, Teradyne, uh, and pretty much anything else, WKS, all those things, to watch for how, how many of these things stay down on the 2-2 uh, reversals. You've got uh, TTWO, also inside month and down, and ATVI just had earnings. We'll see how that plays out with that also inside month to the downside of course with those you can watch ea to see if you get the 2-2 here below 136.27 also have enph taking an inside month to the downside so when you have these directional insides which i mean red inside two down i mean two down inside and then two down magnitude's really only to take this out the, the hopes is that the time frame continuity takes care of more of it and uh, oils it down lower if we go to T Doc and T Doc also inside month to the downside. You just hit your magnitude, so uh, we'll see if that sets up again. If we go to DBX and DBX, just a slight bullet break below 2543. We'll see if there's anything shorter term on that. And VTA here, just taking that magnitude, but so long as it's below 3318, we'll see. Uh, if we go to Sedge, you got really pounded today. That was nice. Um, taking all this out in one shot below 237.31 down to 218.57. And that was that was really nice. And one of the things that we look for, right, is the shorter term to combo to set stuff up like this. So what, what you have on here, Sedge, in the weekly. So you had a gap down, so we'll be fair about that. But you had this. The outside week, taking out both sides, taking out one side, Boom, when you take this out, we're going to take that out, right? These become an outside bar of all that. And if, if that works, it breaks the inside month, which gives you even more power. And that's why you get a move like that. If you go to FSLY, and FSLY, you're going inside month and down below this, 63.56 off of this week. Outside week, 3-2 downside, which means this rejection of go taking out that high is still occurring. And Here's your jammed up inside month. We'll see uh, how that goes. If we go to Beyond the Meat, and Beyond the Meat, inside month and down, let's see if we can get, get out of this thing here, but below 127.40. If we go to Etsy, <coughs> Etsy below this. 196.13, that's there right now. We'll see how much more they got. Uh, and one of the things, when you're looking at the dailies and how they break, so you can see this has been breaking for a few days, and now it's closer to being 2-2 on the daily. So when the, on these monthly setups, you can wait for them to give you more signals on the shorter time frames. As a matter of fact, you it's you have to. Otherwise, you're gonna it's just going to pull down and come right back in. So do that, even if it's on a 60. If you go to D-Dog... D-Dog, 
Taking up that inside month, got a little bit more magnitude. Taking these guys at 74.53, so so good. EXAS here inside month to the downside below 123.17. You got a little more room down to here 110.12. If you go to snow. Snow still bleeding out, <laughs> still bleeding out since the IPO. So uh, we'll see how that goes. If we go to Spotify, Spotify inside month and down here below 251.96. Still working right out the chute. Cree, Cree went inside month to the downside off of this. The inside day holding the gap lower. Right, so you are going into lower lows, and that's where you sometimes you get this snapback like that. But uh, Cree still inside month and down. ESTC. Yeah. Month and down are below 111.50. Coop. Month and down are below 252.32. So you can see if you caught some of these uh, right out the chute, you're starting off the month pretty good. So twist. Having some problems here too. That's an inside month and down below 121.49. Already trading 113.70. So uh, that's why you can see we stay on these uh, we stay on these longer term charts because these are good all month. So long as those levels are are breached, we can look for shorter term setups and go after them. All right, it's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith. This is Black Channel here at Ticker Talker with Stratatech.